Hey, David Raffoff here. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, today I thought we'd look at a nice terminal uh, tool replacement for CAT, which is called BAT. Um, you might be wondering why you'd want to replace CAT. Um, you know, CAT's pretty cool. You can just dump out the text of any file and, um, you know, it's a tried and true uh, tool in Unix, but um, there's this nice replacement called BAT that gives you a lot of additional things that you don't just get by default with BAT. So, or sorry, with CAT. Um, so, you know, some of the cool things you can do with it is you can get um, like uh, syntax highlighting. So if you're dumping out the text of a certain file, you can get it syntax highlighted like you would in a, in a modern editor. Uh, the other cool thing is you can get like line numbers and it'll like show you what the file is. Um, but it's probably easiest just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna switch uh, modes here real quick. And um, you can see here, I've got the terminal open on the left and I've got the bat instructions up over here on the right. And the way you would install this in Ubuntu, uh, but there's instructions here for whatever OS you're using, it's just the normal so you app install bat. And I've already got installed, so uh, it's not gonna do much. <coughs> um, and depending on which system you're on, you may be able to run the command as bat directly. Um, on my, for Ubuntu, um, it, uh, bat cat is what you run. Um, I guess there was like a naming conflict for the package or something. Uh, so anyway, I've uh, aliased it back to bat, so we can just use that. Uh, I feel like Dr. Seuss here. So if we take a look in this directory here, you can see we just have a bunch of different kinds of files. And you know, if I wanted to do cat on one of these, let's say like this GitLab, or let's do, uh, let's not do that. Let's do formatter. So, you know, it's cat works as you would expect. It just gives you whatever the text is on the file. Now, if you, you were to use bat instead, you can see just the formatting on it is a lot nicer. It, um, you know, tells you what the file is. We've got line numbers over here. We've got um, really nice syntax highlighting. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's using to pull the syntax highlighting uh, rules from, but um, I was surprised just out of the box it works with um, like Elixir files without any problem. Um, we can try it on some other stuff here too. Let's try like package JSON, see what it does with that. Uh, that's a pretty small one. It doesn't look like it does a lot unless it's uh, maybe for a specific language. Um, eh, let's see. I'll try the GitLab thing. I think that might be all right. Let's try it. GitLab. So that's just using cat, but we could use um, bat for that and see what we get. Yeah, and you can see it's just uh, significantly nicer. The syntax highlighting really makes a big difference to me. Um, I also like that there's line numbers in there. Um, so yeah, just it's a nice little enhancement. It's not, um, you know, it's just, solving one very specific uh, problem, but I uh, found it to be a really cool alternative or just something to have around um, when you're, um, you know, just going through the terminal looking at files. Sometimes I'll um, just want to kind of like page through a long file from the terminal instead of opening it in an editor. Um, so it's kind of cool to have an option to do something like this. Um, I haven't gone through all their examples, but there's a lot of examples of integrating uh, this with other tools and, uh, also instructions for how to just do a plain format so you don't get all this highlighting if you are if you want to use it as kind of your um, replacement for cat. I think if you do dash p, for example, it will do a plain version. Yeah, there we go. So there's a um, plain version that doesn't have all the line numbers and additional formatting. Um, but the, the uh, GitHub instructions on it are pretty extensive, so I would recommend taking a look at those. Um, you know, they, they show integration for a lot of other standard tools that you would be using from the command line. Uh, but yeah, just a small little tool that has a um, nice enhancement for kind of a, an everyday, to replace an everyday tool. So anyway, I'll probably be doing some more of these, but uh, I thought it'd be fun just to do a quick one on this uh, pretty awesome little terminal command. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.